Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Good afternoon all. Welcome to yet another video from me on the Phantom 4. Now today, what we're gonna talk about is two main things that you need to do before you fly your Phantom 4. IMU calibration and compass calibration. Those are the two things you really do need to do uh, before you fly. And I'm just gonna run those through with you now. So first thing you need to do is turn it, turn on your P4, connect the controller so it is almost ready to fly. Uh, connect up your tablet or phone to um, the transmitter and from then onwards we are then going to run through the process. So if we look at the screen here, we click on the top left hand corner, in my case it says Opti, we click on that and we will be presented with this screen here, the MC settings. What we need to do is we need to go down, click on the advanced settings. And in the middle here, you'll see it says sensors. Now we click on that. Now at the top, you can see under the sensors, we've got these four bars with tiny little yellow um, bars. You want those to be yellow and you want the numbers as close to zero as possible. So you need to make sure that your Phantom 4 is on the most stable and level ground as possible when you're about to do this. Don't hold it in the air, uh, don't hang, you know, hang it up, upside down or anything stupid like that. You need to have it on as most level surface as possible. And when that's done, you just click the IMU calibration, that lettering in blue, and allow itself to do what it needs to do uh, for approximately five to 10 minutes. And when that's done, you just need to turn off your P4 and turn it back on again. And as you can see for mine, you're almost touching on the zero, 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 there's the odd one or two, but it's constantly, uh, you know, changing all the time. But, you know, it is almost as level as possible. So that means that when it's in the air and it's hovering, it's not drifting to the left or drifting to the right, or, or anything like that, it's as most stable as possible. All right, so uh, that's the first thing you need to do. Very basic, you can do that indoors. You just need to be aware that you need as most level uh, uh, as possible to do that. Okay, so that's your sensors out of the way. Uh, now we need to do the compass calibration. So we'll move on to that. Okay, compass calibration. Quite simple today. We click on the top here, where in my case there's low battery, but yours might say safe to fly. And we look in here, it says compass. Uh, it might say calibrate, mine says details. So we'll go to that. Calibrate compass down the bottom here. Click on that. And now it will tell you what to do. So. We're going to move this round, excuse the uh, overhead uh, Heathrow flight path, but we are now going to follow what it says on the screen, which is to turn it 360. And now it says to turn it on its side and again turn it 360. And there you have it, it's all done. Those are the two things that you need to do. Um, and now you're pretty much good to go. I hope that's been some use to you, um, the two things you need to do uh, to allow the P4 to fly. If you've got any questions or any comments, please don't forget to put them in the comments box. So I try to reply to everyone. 
Um, but in the meantime, thank you again for watching. Please uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos from the Phantom 4. Don't also forget that uh, if you're still looking to buy a drone, then I've got some uh, Phantom 3 standard videos on there. And uh, from well over a year ago, this Scout X4 videos. But in the meantime, a thumbs up if it's been helpful. And uh, I will see you again shortly for another video. Until then, I'll see you soon.